Hey guys, welcome to the video. Thanks for watching. I'm Tara. I come to you live every single Wednesday to do these little videos. I try to keep them brief. <laughs> They're usually not super brief, but somewhat brief. Um, and I go over something to do with health, fitness, holistic healing, um, fat loss, you know, all the topics that you guys want me to cover all uh, with a health first approach. I will not lead you to doing anything that's not going to um, be mindful of your own health, physical health and mental health as well. Um, so nice to meet you if we haven't met before. So today I wanna talk to you guys about your goals, right? We're still sort of in the beginning of January. A lot of you guys have these resolutions or you've set some intentions or goals or you have uh, a one focused word that you're that you're focusing on for this year and so this is really a time of contemplation and intention for a lot of people it's winter here where i live and so a lot of that also comes with some reflection and and um introspection a little bit more i want you to keep this in mind nothing changes if nothing changes you've heard that before right it's you know catchy <laughs> and it's true and I see this a lot this time of year, whereas a lot of times people will set these big lofty goals for themselves. Um, you know, they wanna be in this, this vastly different place a year from now, but they don't have the same plan for action that's going to match that level, right? So if you want massive change to happen, you have to be taking massive action. You have to be challenging yourself in a big way in order for those things to happen. So it's got to sort of line up. Uh, I've had a bunch of new clients start with me this week, which is awesome. It's been going really well. Um, there's always like a little extra electricity when there's a bigger group, even though it's one-on-one -on -one coaching, but there's always a little bit more electricity around it and in the beginning of the year and all that stuff. So it's very exciting. And they're with me for 12 months. So my one-on-one -on -one coaching program is 12 months long. And it's designed that way on purpose. It's an entire curriculum um, and plus it's individualized for each person, right? So not everybody's getting the exact same nutrition advice, not everybody's getting the same workout routine. That's very customized. But the framework, sort of the process that we follow is follows the same um, basic principles. So we cover mindset shifts so that when we do get into the nutrition and fitness stuff, those things actually stick. So this is what's missing from every other fitness and nutrition program that I know about. They don't start with the foundations of changing your mindset. Uh, why do you have the habits that you have? How does your brain work? Okay. We get into the neuroscience. I'm not um, getting too nerdy with you guys. I'm just giving you the information that you need to know, but so you understand and you don't beat yourself up for the decisions that you make, but you understand why you are tempted for these certain types of foods or for to overeating or why you've got these certain habits. So we do the mindset shifts, um, mindful eating, customized fitness, customized nutrition, lifestyle habits, things like that. And so this process takes time because I'm not going to give it to you all at once. Um, all the research out there tells us that in order to be able to learn something and actually have it change and, and mold our brain, this is called neuroplasticity, uh, we cannot be given too much at once. We will not be able to maintain all of that. So think about it like when you were in college and you might have pulled an all-nighter to study for a test and maybe you even ace the test, but you probably don't remember that stuff anymore, right? Of course, because that's not the way that we learn best. So what's better is to learn more consistently in bite-sized chunks. So instead of doing, you know, a crash course in something, you need to learn a little bit, start to implement that, start to practice it, uh, start to work on that habit, and then sort of layer and stack those habits on top of each other. Hey, Danielle, thanks for joining. Um, so that's how my program works. That's why it's 12 months. Um, another reason it's 12 months is because there, I want to be able to see an entire year with you. There are going to be different challenges that arise, you know, in the summer when schedules are different versus around the holidays when, um, you know, certain food temptations are going to be different, right? And then there's other times that are specific to you that you might have tricky times, busy times at work, super sad days or times, uh, someone's sick, you're sick, family's sick, right? And you need to learn how to work through all of these different challenges as they come up, but in real time. So when I work with somebody for 12 months, I'm able to coach them through these different scenarios as they come up for each individual person in real time. So that's important. But the best part, I would say, one of the best parts about me working so long with people, not only just the fact that I get to know them so well, right? So I've made lifelong friends um, from these clients, but the fact that 
people sort of weed themselves out. A lot of people uh, might check out my videos or you know start to follow me and maybe unfollow me when they find out what my um, <clears throat> sort of policy is all about. You know what kind of what I'm all about. It's not a quick fix situation. I'm not going to be the person that you see putting out ads that say lose five pounds in five days, right? Um, I'm not going to be somebody who's going to be just into getting you the aesthetic changes that you want to get without actually trying to make you healthy from the inside. I'm all about the foundations. I'm all about health first because I know, I've seen it time and time again, that the aesthetic changes that you want to occur will occur when we get everything else uh, situated, right? And of course, there is a little bit of a side focus. We do have to think about energy in and energy out and stuff like that when you do have a certain, let's say you want to lose body fat or something. There is a, a certain focus we have to place on that, but not doing so in a way that's going to take away from your health, but rather do it in a way that's actually going to contribute to your health. Because for a lot of people, if you have excess body fat, losing that excess body fat in a healthy way is actually going to boost your health, right? It's going to um, boost up all your, uh, improve all your your blood numbers, your markers, your inflammatory markers, and things like that. So that's important. Um, so here's the thing. When we start working together, oh, so what I was saying was people kind of weed themselves out, right? So a lot of times people will start to follow them. 12 months? Your program is 12 months. Yes, it's 12 months. And the people who think that's too long are not going to be the clients that I'm going to want to work with anyway, right? Because they're not really ready to make a long, sustainable change. They're still looking for those quick fixes. They're still looking for the fad diets. They're hopping from one thing to another. Maybe that's somebody who will come around in a year or two uh, and will end up working together, or maybe they'll, they never will, and that's fine too, but then I'm not for them. You know, um, this level of coaching is only for somebody who's really ready to make changes at the lifestyle level, sustainable, lifelong changes. Okay. What am I talking about here with nothing changes if nothing changes? Well, here's where I see a lot of people starting out and setting their intentions and maybe they have results-based goals. So you you know, this would be where I want to lose 20 pounds this year or um you know, even even a certain performance thing. It could be something in the gym. I want to do one pull-up by the end of this year, anything like that. Those are fine to have, but they're results-based goals. You actually cannot control that. You cannot control for sure that you'll be able to do one pull-up this year at some point. You cannot control for sure that you'll be able to lose 20 pounds at some point in this year. Um, but what you can do is you break these goals down into actionable goals, and these action goals are things that you can control. So you can control that you'll work out for 30 minutes today. You can control that you will do a certain amount of, um, you know, pull up hangs each day or whatever, a couple times a week. You can control what you do. You can't necessarily control that the action that you get. But what that means is that when you do this over and over again, and you're consistent, guess what's going to happen? You're going to get the result goal that you had too. But when you focus just on the result goal, it's not actually laying out a plan of how to get there. So it's important that if you have these goals that are the outcome-based goals, the result goals, it's okay to have, but the things that you should be focusing on on a daily basis are the actions that you do have control over taking. I'd be remiss if I didn't add this point here. We focus so much of our time and attention and willpower on trying to control things that are completely out of our control, right? We cannot change other people, no matter how much we might want to sometimes. We cannot con ch change certain, um, or control certain circumstances, right, certain situations. There's a lot that is out of our control. And we, when we can start to give that up, speaking from experience, I'm a type A, you know, sort of control type person. So uh, I'm only teaching you guys what I've had to teach myself and I'm still constantly trying to work on. But when we can give up that sort of control and we can actually flip and use that energy inward towards ourselves and the things that we can control for ourselves, we will see massive amounts of improvement for that as well. So what do I mean here? How many times do I hear people saying that they can have a, you know, a body that feels the way that they want it to feel or look or perform or whatever because, well, I'm in men menopause now. Uh, well, I have PCOS. 
Um, well, I have hypothyroidism, right? I'm not saying I have all of these things. I did have the PCOS and the hypothyroidism. I'm not in menopause yet. Um, but these are the things that I hear all the time. We, we tend to try to control things that we can't control, and we tend to try to take the things that we can control and give that power away. We want to blame a circumstance. We want to blame somebody else. We want to blame a certain diagnosis that we have. But here's the deal, you guys. We are all people, and while Sorry, phone call. Uh, we are all people and while we're different and there's a lot of individuality, uh, we do not defy the laws of science and biomechanics and, and molecular biology and things like that. So there's a bunch of basic foundational things that apply to all human beings. If you have PCOS, if you have hypothyroidism, if you're in menopause, perimenopause, anything like that, it does not mean that you cannot get the results that you want. It might mean that we have to look at things from a different angle. You might need a different approach. Something that worked for your friend or sister or dog might not work for you, but it does not mean that you cannot get the results that you want. You absolutely can. You're not some weirdo, whereas the foundations of, of this you know, metabolism and science, things like that don't apply to you, they do. It's still the same basic principles. Um, Yes, so that's important. So you, if you start to take the control that you're trying to have on everything else and you turn it inward, you know, take ownership of the fact that wherever your health is right now, wherever your body's at right now, you can improve it if you want to. And the thing is, you have to match up the level of actions that you're taking to the level that the goal is for you, right? So this is, we know this intuitively, but we don't really do this. We have big goals, but we wanna take little actions. And little actions are great when you stack them on top of each other, but I'm talking about you, we wanna take one little action and stop there, and we're like, why didn't it work? Um, I started drinking more water, and I'm not at my huge body transformation goal that I had, right? Number one, what did you layer on top of that water goal? That's great that you started there. And number two, were you even consistent with that? Right? Consistency is what matters over time. So you're not you're not going to see the results that you want as fast as you want them to. That's just that's just how it works, right? But are you still showing up and taking the actions that you know are going to help improve your health, your body transformation, all that stuff, even when your results aren't showing up? That's important. That's discipline, right? We don't always feel motivated, but we have to have the discipline in between. So when you think ahead to where you want to be in a year, start to think about what that really looks like. I want you to really visualize it. This is a challenge that I'm going to be doing inside my private Facebook group uh, next week. So stay tuned if you're in that group. If you're not, it's called Healthy, Fit, and Strong with Tara Allen Health. But we're going to be doing this you know, on a, on a group scale here. But I want you to really think about where you're going to be at in a year. Picture it. I mean, like as many de details as you can. Who are you with? What are you wearing? What do you feel like? What do you look like? How are you acting? How's your body performing? How are you moving? Think about all of the details that go into however you wanna be in a year. When you can picture it very clearly, your mind actually starts to accept that it's a reality. And when you have those greater expectations for yourself, you actually start to show up in that way because you're creating a new identity for yourself. You're actually believing that that is the person that you're becoming and then you start to take the action steps based on that. So if all you expect is to get through your day, <laughs> that's all you're gonna get, right? Or if you don't have any goals or intentions set for your day, then just getting through the day is an accomplishment, right? We need to start expecting more from ourselves. The level to which you're willing to challenge yourself and grow is the level of uh, result or goal that you're going to get okay don't expect big results or big goals if you're not willing to challenge yourself in a big way as always leave questions or comments for me here I'm very happy to help you guys and if you're not already inside that Facebook group but you want to participate in this whole uh, year-long vision thing I will post a link in the comments and make sure you hop over there and join us it's a free group it's really fun see you guys in the next video bye